Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we were at Lake Valor, we found out the Galactic Grunts had exploded the Galactic Bomb, causing all kinds of trouble. Those poor Magikarp. And today, you can see we're back home. Let's go pop in and. Well, this light was flickering for a moment, so this is Barry's house. We'll pop in and see how Barry's doing. Probably not home, but his mom is. Let's see if Barry's mom is. Okay, so that that dialogue has not been altered since the beginning of this game. And actually was right outside our house and I didn't go inside first. Oops. Our mom's probably like, wait, come back. Okay, so we're gonna have dinner with mom real quick before we head out on our quest to stop terrorism. If you like terrorism, you're a bad person, but if you want to fight terrorism, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting on this channel. Here at DMike Industries, we are very anti-terror. We pride ourselves on being pretty cool about that. So here we are, this is the Verdi Lakefront. The very beginning of the game where we became acquainted with Charlie. Oh, look who it is. So we all split up, if you remember. We were all going different directions where we were going to be going to Valor. The professor is going to be going to another one that I forget the name of, and then Barry would be going to Lake Verity here. So, the Galactic Goons are after the legendary Pokemon of this lake? Ooh, <laughs> sounds like he must have uh, really taken advantage of that Whippersnapper. Oh, these are double battles, I didn't even see that. Oops, was not ready for this. This is gonna be potentially bad. Time to find out. Okay, so here we go. A very intimidating Glammeow and Silicon. We have never seen these Pokemon before. So, here we go. I also split up the team a little bit. I know what's coming. I am of the understanding of what is going to be hitting us soon. So, also, I did not mean to take Grayson into this fight, so this could potentially end really poorly for me. We'll see if Grayson can hang in there for a turn or something. Get itself some bonus experience. I really like that. And Raymond also was going to be getting that experience all, which is great. Ooh, a very intimidating growl. Hopefully I'll actually be able to use Intimidate in this episode. It was becoming a bit of a pet peeve that I wasn't able to do that. But yeah, one of the things I like about Gibble is that even for being a weaker Pokemon, based on its current situation, it's still really powerful for what we're trying to do, which I think is great. Huge fan of... Huge fan of Gibble. And Gibble's actually pretty close to leveling up. So hopefully Miguel can help us take out this Glammeow and we can hang in there a little bit. Okay. Was not expecting that. That's horrible. But hopefully I can revive Grayson before the end of this fight. And you know what? Because I love making poor decisions. Let's go ahead and bring Raymond. Because everybody loves Raymond, right? Okay. And then I will, no, I will, well, I do, I should need, I should need, well, I can't even talk. I should revive Gibble at some point, but until then. I was not expecting that to be a critical hit. So yes, the, the hits just keep coming for me. That's a, that's a big fat goose egg on the bottom there, as you can see that. That's not what I wanted. Oh boy. Okay, so now I'm definitely gonna have <laughs> Oof. Well, we are just doing great. Let's go ahead and, well, they do have Aerial Ace, so Steven should be a good choice to hang in there. This makes me feel like, I keep saying this, I'm dating these videos, but um, it makes me think of when I play Arceus, and then I'm a bit of a brute forcer when it comes to games like that. So it will turn it into me probably being belligerent and, you know, reviving would be smart, but I always just try to, you know, do whatever I can. Wait, did I not? Hold on. I'm going to use revives on both of the turns here. I do believe that Steven and Miguel can hang in there. There we go. That was probably a waste of a revive. Both of those were probably wastes, but that's okay. Oh, get out of here. One of the things I do appreciate about Ar appreciate, appreciate about Arceus 
is that when you get poisoned, burned, sleep paralysis, any of those status effects, those don't persist after the battle ends, which I think is really nice. Because that's always an annoyance that you just have to heal that stuff. I don't really understand the value of that, but it's okay. I just want to get this battle over with, so I'm just going to take the nuclear option here. I still don't understand why the game feels like it has to remind me of these little... Whatever you want to say. Man, that Glamia has a ton of HP, or it's just super tanky on the defensive side. That defense, or that HP bar did not go down very quickly. But if you remember, Miguel still has the Shell Bell, so... And there we go. So that would have been 600 more experience, I almost said HP. That Grayson would have been able to get and would have leveled up, but I'm a Ding Dong and I, uh, you know, wasn't feeling like it. As you can see, I also brought Bart, so... There are reasons. I have my reasons. Don't worry about it. But if you want to question me, comment. Maybe throw a like in. <laughs> I'm getting a little, little heavy-handed with it now. Are there still more Pokemon to fight? I wasn't paying attention to how many of this started. Man. Where? Did they just have the world's largest supply of Glammeow? Oh my goodness. There are so many. Not to worry. And I don't... Like, I know that I've been told that it's apparently those things happen because those little sayings are because the Pokemon, it's like about a, it's like a happiness indicator, but I don't need it all the time. I wish I could turn that off, turn off my Pokemon's happiness. I want to turn off my Pokemon. Okay. Wait, is there still another one? This is horrible. How many? Oh, geez. Oh my goodness. I... I didn't realize they each had like 19 Pokemon. Okay, so... You know what, we'll just Brave Bird it. I, once again, nuclear option. Just trying to get this over with. I know that doesn't really make for a super dynamic battle. And actually, this would have been a good opportunity to use Gibble. Grayson would have relished the opportunity. He would have been quite the hot dog. Also, I don't remember Brave Bird doing that much recoil damage against the Glamia, but I guess maybe it's dependent on how much damage you do. So I guess we don't recoil as much because we didn't just almost nuke that Pokemon. But yeah, we're doing awesome. Also, I think it's funny that Raymond started out as a lower level than Grayson, and Raymond is already a higher level than Grayson. That's interesting. Those sound like two names of kids who go to private school. Alright, so here we go. We got Nasty Plot. Raises special attack, as you can see. Riolu as a Pokemon isn't really one or the other it's kind of a mixed attacker in this case i do think that we have like a special attack negative nature which sucks because I'm, I'm not playing for natures unfortunately or fortunately because it would take so much time to grind that and that's not the kind of grind that i want to do oh get out of here okay boomer actually i'm curious about that now let's check out riolu also i need to put stickers on my balls i keep forgetting to do that where are you there you are hello and I feel like I'm right. It's probably got a negative. Oh. Wow, that's actually kind of surprising. It has a negative attack nature and it's still massively ahead in that stat. That's weird. Huh. Let's go ahead and use some some items. Do I even have something to heal poison? I feel like I don't. I do not. No, I do. Here it is. Can't read. And we can use our Moo Moo Milks. Okay, I don't want to stop. Get out of here, game. Right. So let's... Oh, that was a waste. Moo Moo Milk's Hill, Hill 100 and... Actually, you know what? Do I have berries? I am doing a great job with item management, as you can see. Yes. I'm just kind of... Wait, what did that say? That definitely did not heal 30. How much does this heal now? A small amount? Oh, I thought it was 30 HP. They look like that was definitely not 30. Is this like the reverse of inflation? What is happening right now? Ooh, I like that. Knock our Pokemon into orbit kind of thing. That's a good line. I like that. All right. So we're doing great. Once again, highly, ver <laughs> highly variable team. All right, so... Let's see if Grayson can hang then hang in there for a turn and do some sweet damage to that Stunky. We do have Bulldoze, which is a great ground. Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. There you go. 
So here's an interesting dynamic. When you do double battles, there are some moves, in this case Bulldoze, which have the potential to affect everybody on the fighting area. So that's a move, I think like Earthquake is another one, Surf maybe. They attack everybody, which is kind of nice because having moves that attack both Pokemon at the same time should save you sometimes. So that's just something to consider. We'll see how well this does. It doesn't affect Miguel, so using moves like that, you have to be careful because you don't want the moves to affect your partner. So that was actually a super good move. Stunky is now slower. And we can prioritize use it well. I'm assuming the wing attack will kill it. So we'll see if Bulldoze can chip away enough at Glammeow. Ooh, this could be good. I don't think it's enough to take down Stunky entirely, but please don't use this on Grayson. Oh no! <sighs> well, there's another. Oh, it's it. I don't know what that move is. If it has a propensity for criticaling, but that's twice that it's critical, Grayson. Poor guy. Ugh. I had such high hopes. I've got high, high hopes for a living. Okay. Please don't sue me, whoever is the people who make that song. Because I might panic at the disco. Okay, so let's go ahead and burn another revive. I mean, it's fine. Guys, we're fine. Like, as you saw, I have 154,000 Poké Dollars. What am I doing? I would like to fight. I cannot, for the life of me, hit the right buttons. It's, like, impossible while I'm playing these games. And it's nice because this is a turn-based RPG, which, you know, you don't really have to react too quickly. And I still can't do things right. Thankfully, playing through Donkey Kong Country, that actually does require some reaction, so it does help me kind of build up that skill set. My soft skills of button pressing, I'll put that in my resume. So, what brings you in here? Why do you feel like you're qualified for this job? Well, it's funny you should ask. But Miguel feels like it's not able to do well. Oh, Miguel, are you having self-worth issues? Can relate. Okay, so neither of these is good. Um, but we are a poison type, so I will just see if we can do a little chip damage if this doesn't go ahead and kill Stunky. Great, another turn! This battle couldn't have been going any better, although... I'm still trying to get Scarlet leveled up. She is very close to evolving, and I would love that. Oof, it's a lot. I don't know if Venoshock is the move that does more damage when somebody already has a status. I think it is. Oh boy. Oh, oof. Okay, so Miguel lives, and as long as they don't have any other Pokemon, we should see... Victory? Is that true? Oh. I don't think that's enough to prevent us from dying from poison, though. But Grayson gets a level up. That was lovely. Okay, so Miguel probably will die from this. Excellent. Now I don't have to use an antidote. Instead, I can use the more expensive revive. Wonderful. Okay. Um, Steven, get back in there. This is what I get for trying to bring youngsters along, those Gen Z Pokemon. Always slowing me down with their TikToks and their fidget spinners and their inclusive attitudes, caring about other people. Like, this is just getting out of hand at this point. Stop being so inclusive. All right, so you know what? Let's use Toxic. It's probably a waste because I guarantee that one Thunderbolt from Steven will be enough to... Oh, get out of here. Does it always crit? Is it like the gimmick of that move? No. Just on Pokemon that I'd like to keep alive. I see how it is. It'd be really awesome if Scarlet could learn Leech Seed. I know I mentioned this before, but using the, the wall stall of the Leech Seed and Toxic combo is really fun to do. I actually found out recently that as much as I don't really pay so much attention to it, one of my more favorite players of the old basketball is is a uh, he's a Pokemon master, which I think is really interesting. I saw a photo of him 
playing a Nintendo Switch on a flight to a game, and it was quite extraordinary seeing that Switch in his hand look like he was holding like a PSP. So imagine that. Oh yes, Grayson is evolving, heck yes. This should help our livability. I don't think that's a word, but instead of a gibble, we now have the far superior and cooler looking Gabite. Oh yeah, Gabite's great. Do we get any moves? We'll find out in a moment. Gabite is the cave Pokemon. That's a weird name. I land shark to cave. This makes no sense. There is a long held belief that medicine made from its scales will heal incurable illnesses. Okay, well, that's a little controversial. I'm sure there's plenty of people that like to take that holistic medicine approach or the homeopathic medicine approach. Don't go sticking things in your butts, though. That's my recommendation. Okay, so Grayson is much more powerful than before. Let's check the summary of Grayson and see kind of our stat spread. Pretty darn good. Pretty fast. Pretty strong. Grayson's going to probably be a mainstay on this team, I imagine. So here we go. It's Dawn versus Mars. Do we have to fight Mars now? Ooh, okay, excuse me. Okay, I mean, we know who you are. We fought you already. <laughs> okay, I get it. It's a trope. We did fight Mars. I don't know if Mars introduced herself during the... Um, during the Valley Windworks fight, where we rescued that scientist. But I feel like she did. Also, I'm probably wildly underprepared for this. This is going to go horribly. That's okay. I believe in the one half of the 18 that I brought. Okay, also, why did these shake just now? Let's get Steven in there. This is an easy choice. Probably shouldn't be bringing along two level 20 Pokemon when... Pokemon that I'm facing are like 10 to 15 levels higher than me. This is not the best. And once again, the theme of this Let's Play. Pokemon going and canceling out my intimidation. How can I get people to do what I... Oh, boy. She's got a Perugly. Actually, you know what? I don't want Perugly in this fight against Steven. I would like to bring in Scarlet. Hopefully we can survive a hit. Because I'd love to use Toxic on it. As long as she doesn't have a full restore. Because Perugly is beefy is thick Ooh, this could hurt hang in there scarlet just need you to be there for one turn i'll bring you back in a moment but i would love to use toxic please succeed oh boy it just casually knows aerial ace awesome well about that okay hmm instead let's maybe shoot our goo on it get a good peek at bart the roserade i know that i briefly used Bart in a previous encounter. I said previous twice in that same sentence. Very good English. I speak American good. Wonderful. Alright, let's shoot some goo on it. Oh yeah. Actually, I'm bringing Bart along for the stun spore possibilities. And to burn through more of my revives. I actually haven't used many revives until these circumstances because I just love to burn through my items. Why not? Bart's got some pretty good defense, unless this Pregly's offense just sucks. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'd love to bring in anybody but this, but obviously neither of those choices would be good. Um, yeah, this fight's not great. <laughs> this would be a situation where I wish I had Charlie. But I mean, hey, what's the point of playing Pokemon if you always got the advantage, huh? Let's, let's see some adversity. Let's see how Demi candles the real world. That makes sense, right? I think Steven is up to the task. I don't know how good Perugly's special defense is, but we use a charge beforehand just to beef it up. I don't know exactly how much help that gives it, but I do think Steven also has a magnet to raise the power of my electric move, so this should probably do at least half its health. Let's wish for half. Oh, okay. Oh, it has a berry. That's very lame. That is not cool at all. And I still think 
that its whiskers look like guitars. Or like maybe like a violin or something. That's not what a violin looks like. Just guitars, I'm dumb. But I don't I don't know what that has to do with the aesthetic of the rest of it. I just don't think that, like the motif of it doesn't cool white add up. But that was awesome for experience. Wish I could have gotten the, the young guys in there, but they will cease immediately to exist. They will get blown up real fast. Nope. We'll just stick with it. I decided to choose the worst team possible for today's shenanigans. Although I guess, you know, I wouldn't say the worst team, but I could have done better. I could have done more better in choosing my team. Okay, I don't know what else she has. Maybe it's not Toxic Rogue, maybe it's Skun Tank? That would make sense, wouldn't it? I would really like the young guys to catch up a little bit more quicker. Bronzor? Okay. Um, well, Bron... Uh, I would love... I wish Grayson had something like Crunch. I would love to bring, bring him in and give it the big old chomp, which I can't imagine that being too pleasant. Using Crunch on a Bronzor. You ever tried to bite a penny? Ugh, you don't want that. Hopefully we can just get this over with. I know Bronzor has a ton of defense. Yeah. It's the one downside. Hopefully it doesn't use... Uh, I was just going to say, please don't use Iron Defense, but here it is. One of the things I will give credit for in the Pokemon world is the... Um, the animations in Arceus for the moves are super cool. They did a great job. So you saw me use... Nightshade there. I feel like Nightshade's actually a pretty good combatant to Pokemon that use status affecting buffs, or stat affecting buffs, sorry. Sorry. Because Nightshade still does the amount of damage as my HP, which because we're early enough into the game, it's still not like a game breaker. But there it is. We defeated Commander Mars. <gasps> Smile like a donut, Mars. Launched you into orbit. You big red doofus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it seems like the legendary Pokemon of the lake has been taken to the hideout. Uh-oh. So we learned one of them is called Mesprit. And they caught it. Oh, no. So here we're going to learn their names. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower, and Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Yeah, these are all kind of weird. Um, that's unfortunate, though. They captured all the all of our buddies. They've got the legendary Pokemon. I still think it's hilarious that we are children, and we're going up. It says full-fledged criminals, and Professor Rowan is just happy. He's like, my insurance policy is not going to cover this. Oh, Barry. That's a good question. We haven't talked about Barry when I saw his mom and she seemed to be pretty excited for him because he took off like a rocket. So maybe we'll fly. Ooh, let's see what actually what we're supposed to be doing. Check up on how things are going at Lake Acuity. Okay. There we go. I hit the right button for once. Where's Lake Acuity? There's one. There's two. Where's the third one at? Oh, it's way up here. Oh, I see. So they want us to... They want us to giddy up. I don't know what's the best way to do that. I think... I don't think that if the mountain pass through Eterna City or Celestic Town is available, we could go that way. Because I don't think we need to go up the entire mountain. So let's fly to Celestic Town. Maybe we'll do the trek and then we'll... Once we finish our mountain climbing, let's go ahead and heal our team. We're a little banged up. A little worse for the wear. It's not their fault. I made some really poor choices. Give everybody a little, little kiss on the face. Make them feel better. Mwah. Isn't that how that works? You get, you get a little boo-boo and you get somebody to, to kiss your boo-boo. Here at DMIC Industries, we will not be offering boo-boo kisses anymore. Due to a lack of interest. Okay. I don't remember if these people sell anything that are useful that I want. 
Ooh, they do. Okay, I would love to buy some revives, because I, I burned through a ton of them. And I got all kinds of- I got all kinds of cash monies right now, so... I'll just buy whatever I want. I think I have an escape rope. Great. I'm gonna want a bunch of repels. Repels are... Super duper. Okay. So, I, like I said, I don't know what's the best way to go about heading up Mount Cornet, but I don't think we went this way last time. I mean, like, we did a little bit. But not, not really. This is where we got one of those TMs. Can we fight you? Great. Okay, so you're a creep. Let's... Wait, did I go down here? Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, here we go. I suppose you can go into Mount Cornet however you want to. There are multiple paths, points of entry. And I would like to go down to... Wait, did I not give my magnet to Steven? <gasps> I lied. I said that I did and I didn't. I didn't really... Oh. <laughs> I got real confused. I was like, wait, I just gave it to him and it's incompatible. That's not how hold items work. But we have strength now, so... We can push this big old boulder thanks to this wild Justin Bieber. -el. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what you need to do at this point to continue into the cave. Also, does anybody else get a little bit of PTSD from these strength pushing puzzles? Makes me think back to like Victory Road of red and blue. Ooh, rare candies. That's a nice rare candy. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to give both of those to Scarlet because oh, I have four. Ooh, Scarlet. I can give you three of them right now. Oh, and it lets you use them all, all, all at once. That's amazing. Yes. <gasps> Look at those stats. That's actually pretty good for rare candies. And uh, yes, you're learning cross poison 100%. That's a great move. Okay. I think that makes sense though, right? Yeah, because we're not really a special attacker, so Venom Shock's not, not great. Okay, and we should get a, should get an evolution here. Oh yeah, you guys are welcome. This is gonna be epic. Scarlet, finally evolving. I really like the way that they handled evolutions, at least the, the way that it looks in Arceus. That is, pretty amazing. Oh yeah. This was kind of another one of those, I don't want to say mascot Pokemon, but it definitely was a big deal for uh, Diamond and Pearl Drapion, the Ogre Scorpion Pokemon. It has the power in its clawed arms to make scrap of a car. The tips of its claws release poison. Shoots the goo. Okay. So that was amazing. And you know what? Just for fun, let's go ahead. Actually, I want to give this to Raymond. Raymond has not evolved yet. We want to get Raymond ever closer to evolution. Let's carry on, shall we? Why am I why am I walking? Am I supposed to be going down? I feel like down. Oh, I need defog. Oh goodness. Arceus bless. You can use defog here. It's not an HM, which I love. I mean it's not a forced HM. What a pain in the buns. Like it took them until what? Like X and Y? Which is Generation 6, X and Y before they made HMs not a requirement. Like, ugh. Is there an item up here? I would imagine so. Everything up here looks a little suspicious. Okay, so let's show off our big muscles. Get some soft sand. That actually might be a good thing to give Grayson. Everything is not sorted, so I will sort them by name. Ground type moves, yes. So that's very good for Grayson. Need to find something to give. Oh, we do have this. Power of poison type moves, we can give that to Scarlet. And then Raymond, I don't think, I don't know if I have any, any fight, wait. I do have something for everybody, look at this. Everybody gets a treat. You get a treat and you get a treat, okay. So I don't know if there's anything up here, any items. Some people might be watching this and be like, oh man, I want to see what wild Pokemon are in Mount Coronet. 
Well, I can assure you it's probably the same Golbats and Onyxes and Mewtwo's as you always find. It's not that interesting. Is there any... I'm just... I'm getting all kinds of goodies. Also, can you just let me smash it? I just want to smash it and bang. Grab these items before you leave. I feel like moving through Mount Cornet is something that happens multiple times, though. So I guess, you know, don't be too alarmed if you don't grab these items the first time around. They are pretty good, though. But they're so good that it, you know, I'm getting Final Fantasy Syndrome where I'm afraid to, to use the goodies. Okay, can I check these rocks and see if there's anything? This animation with this B-roll is ridiculous. It looks... Oh, there's an item over here. It looks... That looks really horrible. I'm sorry. It was just kind of like flopping around. Okay, and light clay. What does this do? Okay, so if you want to enhance your, your screens, your reflex, make sure you equip your light clay. Because I want to see what's in this water. Five Poke Dollars says it's a tentacle. We just need to head back to the top. Okay, so let's see what this encounter is going to be. A Zubat. That makes sense, right? I guess it could be flying above the water. We're just kind of stepping in it. That makes me really uncomfortable. I, unfortunately, my day-to-day -day shoes that I wear are kind of made of this cloth material that when they get wet, it is, um, how do you say, uh, terrible. Not the best. Not the best feeling. You ever worn a pair of socks and then stepped in some water? Mmm. That's enough to make a man go crazy. Also, pay attention to this spot. I think in Diamond and Pearl, this spot was unique. It meant something. I think that could be super important eventually. But, uh, yeah. It's a little chilly out here. And I'm a little bit shivery and i've got some cold feet so maybe we'll continue next time make some more progress i've been d mike this has been pokemon brilliant diamond and i'll see you later bye